You should see a picture of him when he's producing. He has like a plate of food right there. He's opening his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Son. Okay, so we got Dreamer in here. Did I say it right? Dreamer. Dreamer. Yeah. So how do you get that name? Is that that's not your real name, right? Actually, my my first name is Andre. Mm-hmm. So that's where the Dre piece come in. Um, you know, I think almost every hip hop artist out there had like a gangster side to them. Yeah. And at one point, I had one. So my um, my stage name was actually Dre Murder. Yeah. And. I guess like I was at work one day and I just had like an epiphany when I was like, yo, I'm not on this street shit no more. It's not uplifting my people. Mm-hmm. And I'm changing my stage name. So I dropped the DA for murder and I, uh, and I called myself, it was originally Dreamer, which every, a lot of people pronounce it right when they see it. Mm-hmm. But what happens is when you chill around certain people who just separate names when they see it, so they started going Dre, Mur, instead of Dreamer. And I'm like, all right, whatever. I was just answering the both. So mm-hmm. that's pretty much how the name came about. So you do, you're a, so you're a rapper, but you also do poetry. I did poetry before I did rap. Mm-hmm. Um, I actually enjoy doing poetry a lot more than doing rap mm-hmm. because um, poets accept you more than most hip hop artists do. You know, you you got a whack poem and they'll love you. So that's why my full name is actually Dre Murder, Rebel the Poet, the MC. Mm-hmm. Because I was a poet before I was an MC. Even mm-hmm. though they're one and the same. I, I was still, you know, I started off doing poetry and I wasn't on hip hop like that. I was listening to it, but that wasn't the full focus. So who are your influences? Um, as an artist, uh, well, first and foremost, I'm going to say Nas, man. Mm-hmm. You know, Nas is a definite influence, common, uh, old, old new things, not new things, uh, old, old Kanye stuff. You don't like the new Kanye? I mean, he's cool. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying like it's it's a it's anything wrong with him. So tell me, you, just, don't, you don't like 808 and Heartbreaks at all, do you? Nah, yo, I only like a couple tracks off of him. Like like the whole album. Am I guilty of that? Nah, man. I mean, to each his own, yo. Like I don't knock anybody for liking anything. Mm-hmm. You know, I think I make for, more fun of rappers' names than their songs. <laughs> Give me an example. Who you making Waka fun of rappers' Flocka, names? Waka Flocka. Waka Flocka. Waka Flocka. No, it's not Waka Flocka anymore. It's Waka Flocka Flame. Waka Flocka. <laughs> that shit sounds like a moving street fighter or some shit. <laughs> 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 I thought it was Dol D, but I'm not going to lie. The name is Waka Flocka Flame. You know, no lie. I think all of us in this room have watched The Muppets before, but that's the same thing Animal used to say. That Waka Waka, that's the, I shit you not. Like, and I'm like, when I hear his name, I'm like, God, man. Like, his name's not Waka Flocka, it was Waka Flocka Flame. Yeah, so it's... It's horrible. Like, you know who I you know who I make fun of a lot? OJ the Juice Man. I don't call him OJ the Juice hey. Man. I don't call uh, you know what I call him? I call him R Juice Man because I have no respect for him. Yeah, I, I'm man. not gonna call him OJ the Juice Man. I don't I don't some of these names are just like over the top. It's like, yo, are you serious? Like there's certain names I'm like, yo, when you're like forty, will you really sit back and call yourself this? Like, yo, my name is two pistols, B. Holla at me. I hate that guy. No wonder he's not successful. He was only he was only successful because that that song had T Pain on it. Yeah. Pretty much. T-Pain can make anything. Okay. But, so where have you performed? So far, I've hit like a lot, a lot of open mics. I've done um, Bonfire at, pa- um, at Bowie Poetry Lounge. Mm-hmm. I did um, a spot in Brooklyn. I can't remember the name. With um, Felicia Cruz uh, for Fighting for Futures. Yeah, she's like you know, she went out, she went out the country. Yeah, she's in she Korea did. with Spills. You know, shout out to them too. They went to go. I think they're in Cambodia right now. Cambodia? I'm not That's sure. The they're all over the place. Then. Yo. Who knows? Who knows where it'll be next, yo? But they're doing their thing. You know, I like what they're doing too. You know, educating uh, children in other countries about music. That's dope. You know. Mm-hmm. But um, I've also rocked at um, bookstores. I've even rocked at bookstores. Yo, that's how hungry Wait, I am. Bars and Nobles let you perform? Um, no, there's a spot um, mm-hmm. called Revolution Bookstore because a lot of my music has messages inside of them. So yeah. like, they heard my music and they was like, yo, we want you to come rock. So I rocked out there. Um, I was gonna say Barnes and Nobles. They moving up like that. Let me tell you they something. Barnes and Black and Black Culture. If Barnes and Nobles called me and said, "Listen, yo, we want you to come in here and do Starlight Starbright right now," I swear to God, I'll get up and leave this interview just to go rock in Barnes and Nobles. That's disrespectful, say. Do you know how many people get out of here? Yo, yo get up. <laughs> get his interviews done. <laughs> interviews done. So get out of here. Yeah, hey, yo, Ed, you can stay because you you you're good, buddy. <laughs> but you gotta go. <laughs> yeah, you have something you wanna promote? I mean, right yeah, now you I'm have not a rap career. 
Jay, Jay Bird's about to be out of here, man, because he just said that. <laughs> That's actually the dude who told me how to produce back here, so shout out to Ed, a, AKA Thoughts. For anybody who knows my name is Thoughts, he actually yeah, showed yeah. me how to uh, chop up samples, how to, you know, work with drum pads and shit like that, so, he's, you know, it's still a cool dude. Okay, so we're going to get back, and you're going to play one of your songs, then we're going to talk right. about your production style and what you what you use. So what's the first song you'd like to play? Uh, let's, Edible. let's go with Mr. Edible. We gotta talk Featuring about my boy Geronimo. Let's go with that one. Geronimo. Yeah. Okay, so let's get into this. Mr. Edible. You want to introduce the song? Um, what's going on? Uh, everybody, this is my song, Mr. Edible, featuring Mr. Geronimo. Hope you enjoy it. It's all for, um, for the love of Dilla. Check it out. Yeah, we got to talk about that. Because you're a Dilla fan just like me? Yeah, son. Yeah, we got to talk about Dilla, man. R.I.P. Starlight, Starbright. Starlight, Starbright. 